welcome back. We are still looking at some of the elements of art, and today we're going to look at what might be the most basic of all the elements of art, and that is line. Everybody knows what a line is, and we can all draw a line. It's the easiest thing we can do in art. But what you can do with line, that's a more difficult story to, uh, to address. So we're gonna look at three artworks today and how the artists have used line exclusively in some cases to, to create artworks that have a really different kind of an appearance. So the first artwork is this one. It's a lithograph, it's kind of print, made by the artist Joseph Norman. What we're looking at is basically a forest. It's a forest of birch trees primarily, which are the white trees that have uh, uh, darker areas where the bark isn't as visible. And because it's a forest full of trees, it has lots of vertical lines. And so that's what, when you look from the left to the right, or the right to the left, you see vertical after vertical after vertical line, carrying your eyes across. But what makes it really interesting is what Joseph does in, in each tree. There are lots of curves that you don't see initially. And then each tree, he almost creates patterns, sometimes based on how the bark might look, sometimes based on just a different kind of an appearance that he wants to, um, to, to create a more dynamic picture. And what's really cool is how he uses value, again, going back to that, where some of the lighter ones seem to come forward and the darker ones seem to be in the back. And that's one way the value can create a sense of space. So all of these different elements can work together. But Joseph shows us how vertical lines moving across the page can create a really beautiful artwork. So we were just looking at Joseph Norman's uh, image of a forest and the trees standing very straight. So it, it was kind of a static image where everything seemed to be just staying in place. Very different experience when we look at this artwork by Ken Bueller. Ken is also using lines to create what we're seeing. But by using this dark green and reds and some of the other colors on this side in a circular swirly motion, and then these oranges, which go from side to side in a zigzag across, instead of something that is, seems like it is just sitting still, he has something that seems explosive. These are churning in place and almost like these things, uh, the orange lines are coming out from all of this activity on this side. So just by changing the way the lines look, he can completely change our impression of, of the amount of action going on in an artwork. So we've looked at the, the very strong vertical lines with other elements thrown in by Joseph Norman. And we've looked at the really energetic lines of Ken Bueller. Now we're looking at a line drawing, a line painting, by artist Jody Whitlock. And Jody created this by using a method called line contour drawing, or in this case, painting, where she's looking at the photograph of a couple and without looking at her hand, without looking at the paper, she's letting her eyes follow the outlines of the photograph and then trying to keep her hand moving at the same pace as her eyes. And so what we have are the lines that come as a result of that. In some cases, we're just simply looking at the outside of their pants and their sleeves, their hands, their heads. But in other cases, she goes inside to give more detail in their faces, all the while her hand is moving as her eyes are telling her to move. And so what we get is pure line. This is almost one continuous line that just keeps going. Um, and it's something that you can practice at home as well. So as you are thinking about lines, think about what kind of what kind of energy, what kind of sense you want your, your picture to have. Do you want it to be strong and stable? Do you want there to be lots of energy? Do you want there to be very creative uses of line to, to have something that you can recognize and yet it's entirely different?